The trains, for their type, is the most powerful transport, and the soda engines are the power between the railroads that make up the island of Sodor. This is Stories on the Railroad. Welcome to the morning of the island of Sodor. The engines were all waking up. Thomas woke up first. Oh, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Thomas. Thomas. Good morning, Toby. Good morning, Thomas. How are you? I'm doing good. Well, I'm not. I was assigned to pull goods train, but what goods trains? I need to pull coaches. Coaches? What? You're a mixed traffic engine. You can pull anything. Ugh. Why do I even sleep next to the berth next to you? Well, it's a good thing I won't be staying around here much longer. I'm going to be moving to a new shed at the yards. Oh, like that's reasonable. Okay, James, what the heck is going on with you? What the heck is wrong with you? I need to pull coaches. Ugh, this is not the correct mood for a morning. I agree, Stadford. Ugh, well, good day to you. Uh, good day, sir. And James puffed away to pull his goods train. That at the docks, James was waiting for his train. What's taking so long? Well, hello, James. Oh, no, not him. What are you doing here? Stuck at the works? No. Now go away. Okay, then. Goodbye. I must pull Annie and Clara with these special passengers. And Thomas puffed away, leaving James. But the the crane was unloading the last piece of cargo for for James. All right, James, that's the last bit. You can go. Well, thank the Lord. And James puffed away with his long, heavy goods train. On the way, James puffed by the docks. Well, it is peaceful, I can tell you that. Until James heard an explosion. What was that? But then he suddenly derailed with it. The cars were surprised, and James fell. Luckily, no one was hurt. James felt sad, sad about being in an accident. His paint was ruined, but fortunately, he wasn't too far from the docks, so Stafford and Diesel 10 helped of clearing it up. Don't worry, James, we'll soon have you on the tracks. And they cleaned up the mess. Then Toby arrived to take James to the works. Now how did you get yourself here? I don't know. I heard a loud boom, and then, well, I derailed. Oh, I'm in shame. Don't worry, James. I'll be taking you to the works. And besides, you're not the first one to have an accident. Yes, but don't worry. Look, I'm going to take you to the works. Then Toby took him to the works as slowly as he can. Soon the engines were sad that James had to go. Oh, I miss James's company. So do I. Even though he's kind of rude, he didn't deserve that. Then Sir Topham Hat came. I need to tell you all that I will be trialing an engine here since James is at the works. 
A trial? Does that mean we're getting a new engine? Yes, indeed. He'll be perma permanent on this railway. The engines were surprised. Since the last engine who was bought by Sir Top Hank, a.k.a. Diesel 10, uh, was rude. But Sir Top Hank said that he is a nice, kind engine, and he's also a tank engine. He'll be taking Thomas's loads while Thomas works with James. So, as we all agreed, that you all would be very nice to him. He is shy, but he's also so eager to work. So, I suggest you treat him as your own. Yes, sir. And do you know when James will be back? He'll be back tomorrow night. Welp. Do you have any questions? No, sir. But I just have to say, who is this new engine? I don't know. But they all went to sleep. That morning, Sir Topham Hatt came to the, to the garage. Well, Sir Topham Hatt, how are you? I'm doing good. I see you have my engine. Oh, yes. But let me show you all these newer engines uh, before I show you to your permanent one. We have a few diesels, a electric engine, and a steam engine. Just to show you. Well, those are perfect. But but what about my engine? Oh, yes, your engine. Right, I uh, will take you to him. He's uh, right over at the end of the sheds over there. It was a little green engine. Yes, he's really shy, but he gets the job done around here. Hello there, what's your name? I don't actually have a name, sir. Oh, don't worry. I won't hurt you. And besides, if I choose you, would you... Uh, able to work? Oh, yes, sir. That's the one. Yep, that's the engine I bought. Cool. Cool. And also, I actually custom made that engine. I built him from this very shed. Really? Well, this is the experience. I... Uh, have some a few custom made engines of my own at Sodor. Well, the engine's all yours. Let me just go get the paperwork so we can all be happy. Soon, Sir Top of Hat signed the paperwork. How about I call you Percy? Do you like that? Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Percy was excited. So, he wrapped up his fire. Percy puffed away. Soon Percy arrived at the yard. Thomas, this is Percy. Show him the ropes and he'll be working on your branch line until James returns. Percy loved working on Thomas's branch line. Hmm. I have to say, he's gone really good. Soon that night, Percy joined the the steam team for a for at the shed I like Percy me too me three Percy was flattered and also Percy you're a really good friend yes so Sir Tom Hat arrived okay engines I decided that Percy will be permanently staying really sir that's great Yes. So, and also, someone else has returned to the, to the steam team. Then they saw a red engine, and it was James. He was back from the works. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! The engines all shouted. It was great being here. The works is such a boring place. There's nothing to do. And also, who is this little engine? Oh yes, James, meet Percy. Percy, meet James. It's nice to meet you, Percy. It's nice to meet you too, James. And I think you look splendid in your bright red coat. Ah uh, yes, of course. But the question is that, 
who was it that caused the explosion to happen? It wasn't a burst safety valve, because a burst safety valve wouldn't be as loud enough to be an explosion. Yeah, that is pretty true. Sir, do you know what happened? Said the engines. But Sir Topham Hat said, No idea. But, sir, what's going on? I have honestly no idea. Everyone has been saying that there's no explosion. So, where did that explosion come from? They were confused. But, as we say, this story doesn't come to a close. It has another. Exterminate! Pew!